that and behind me the wallpaper here in the studio is Kelsey and Mahomes and another Lombardi in red and yellow confetti falling. Yeah. You say, of course, that script makes sense, but let's go back in the script. They're down 10, right? They can't get on the field, can't get Philly off the field. At what point in this game, Ryan, do you really start to entertain the thought, maybe the Chiefs are going to do it again and come back and win this game? <laughs> well, first off, contrary to what Arian Foster says, nobody receives the script before the game. <laughs> but when the Philadelphia Eagles have to settle for a field goal to go up 27-21, you right. think that is that drive that Patrick Mahomes and the Kansas City Chiefs have a, the three conference championships that he's won and then it's watching him play and what he means to this team to me Patrick Mahomes is already top three all time you're going to include him in conversations with Joe Montana and Tom Brady but then when you look at both of those players as compared to Patrick Mahomes and the skill set and the talent and the things that he can do on the field that we've never seen I don't believe that's close and so now as he continues to win he continues to dominate he continues to lead he's going to creep closer and closer to who Tom Brady is and what Tom Brady has done. Will he ever eclipse the GOAT? I'm not sure because we still have to see that. Has he done everything to put himself in that conversation? Absolutely. Well, he's got a lot of help on the offensive side. He's got a defense helping him out, and he's got Andy Reid, Biennemi, Nagy, and everybody yeah. else on that, on that coaching staff. And in that second half, Ryan, I, you know better than I would. I, I don't know what I'm looking at. You tell me how much, how much better. Or what was what they do well coaching in the second half? You know what? They pulled out a can of you know what in the second half <laughs> offensive. And they understand if we start men in motion, they're going to prepare to bump. And if we snap it at the right time and get right back out to the flat, we have an opportunity to be wide open. That's scouting, right? That's schematics. That's strategizing. But that's calling the play at the right time. They're spinning around in a circle with one of the linemen in the middle, and then they come out and hit you with the whoop-de-whoop -whoop after that. The Kansas City Chiefs are a team that has no fear when it comes to what they're willing to do, what they're willing to put into their playbook, and what they're willing to call. You go back to the first half, there's a pass thrown, and Travis Kelsey is standing up looking at the sideline, not even lined up. That's who this team is. There's a fearlessness that goes along with this head coach, that goes along with this quarterback, that makes them so scary. Coming into this game, many felt that when you look at the trenches, you look at 21 through 21, the Philadelphia Eagles were better. The one place they weren't on the field was at quarterback, and the other place was at head coach. And today, those two things shined so brightly in the second half. And that's the reason why, you know, everybody picks it and I pick the Chiefs. And in the end, like, I'm right, but barely. And everything you just said about yeah. the coaching, everything you said about Mahomes, all true. And yet it took every bit of that, Ryan, to be this much better. I put my fingers very, very close apart. This much better <laughs> than, than Philadelphia. And I think I point to Jalen Hurts for that. Uh, I, I, yeah. This is a young man who's 24 years old who's about to get a whole bunch of cash, and he's earned it. What did he show you on this day? Made the right decisions in the RPO. Put the football in places he had to in very tight windows in order to convert third downs and fourth downs. Jalen Hurts was absolutely phenomenal today. And I think the one thing we didn't mention enough of in mentioning that the historical, the historical purpose behind two black quarterbacks starting, it was also number one and number two in MVP voting. And today, Jalen Hurts was every bit of the runner-up to a great like Patrick Mahomes. Holmes, and he had the game that close, not in spite of Jalen Hurts, but because of him and his play. Yeah, for certain. And I, I'm, I think unless you're a Chiefs fan, you were hoping that with about a minute 50 left and a timeout that they were going to get the ball with an opportunity to go down the field. Absolutely. But there was a flag. We talked about it earlier with Tim. I'll ask Lewis about it a little bit later as well. Um, that didn't happen. But in the end, Mahomes' brilliance and the Chiefs' brilliance in the second half enough uh, to earn them another Lombardi Ryan, it's been a hell of a year, man. I appreciate your friendship. I appreciate you being here and making the effort. You're traveling all over the globe, and you're, you're here with us a whole lot, and uh, I'm grateful for that. I look forward to the time that we're together again soon, okay? My man, thank you so much. See you soon, brother. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.